Hi, welcome to the words of the day for Friday, September 25th, day 10. Here we go. I am excited for some words of the day. Let's do the random dictionary word. I'm gonna to go towards the back. Standard bearer, standard bearer. An officer or soldier of an army or military unit who bears a standard. So a standard's like a flag or like a symbol or something like that. Huh. Standard bearer, interesting. Okay, here we go, words of the day. Whew. This is one of my favorite words. Gluttonous, gluttonous. It just sounds, it sounds just kind of weird, gluttonous. Um, it's an adjective, comes from Middle English, and what it means is given to excess in consumption. Now, that's a confusing definition, but it pretty much means um, that you just do way too much. It's often used in uh, for drinking and eating. Uh, so if you're gluttonous, you would eat like a huge pile of food, even though you don't really need all that food. Um, so let's say the gluttonous dog ate his food and the other dog's food. Okay, next word is essay. Ooh, this is a good one. It's a noun, comes from late Latin, uh, and it's a short piece of writing on a particular subject. I think this is a pretty easy word. Um, fifth and sixth graders, you definitely know what an essay is. And pretty soon, fourth graders, you're gonna know what essays are too if you don't haven't already done them. But essay, good word. Oh, I just used it in a sentence, perfect. Um, let's see, compare. Our next word is compare. It's a verb and it comes from Latin, and it means to examine and note the similarities and differences of something. Compare is a word that we use all the time. It's probably one that you've used today. Um, so I would ask, could you please compare your journal from the first day of school to today? Okay, here we go. Ready for some spelling words? I'm ready for some spelling words. Fourth graders, your first spelling word is heaven, okay, heaven. Uh, your second spelling word is satin, okay, it's like a type of fabric, it's a really smooth type of fabric. Um, and your third spelling word is penguin, yes, penguin. Okay, fifth graders, you ready? Here we go. Your first spelling word is excellent. Got to be careful with this one because it's got those X's and C's and a double L. Okay, excellent is misspelled quite frequently. <laughs> Guess what the next word is? Frequent. Okay, frequent. Um, and then the third spelling word for fifth graders is impatient. Okay, impatient. Okay, here we go. Sixth grade words. The first one is hunger. Okay, hunger. Second word immediate. This one can be a little tricky too because of that I-A-T at the end. Um, so immediate. And the third one is one that I spelled wrong for years. It is accidentally. Okay. This one's got double C's. It's got double L's. It, it can be tough. So practice accidentally a lot. That's it. Those are the words for the day, and we're all done with words for the week. I can't wait to see what words we have next week. Bye.